have Major Glad, Major Dizzy. William and his sister Amelia didn't have many toys and they worked us hard. All day long they lined us up and knocked us down. And when Amelia had to stop playing to sell her sampler, William made us fight each other, even though we were best friends. We stole food from under the server's nose. I saw that, Major Dizzy. I've got eyes in the back of my head, I have. When trains went past the whole house, rattled and shook, the walls bulged and the floorboard shivered. So this is no life for a soldier. I want to be a hero. You have jelly on your head. One day, Amelia was left alone with us. I don't want to be a dainty young lady. I'd rather watch trains. And if I can't play with Glad and Dizzy, I don't, really, don't think William should either. It's not fair. Oh, what a shame. I seem to have mislaid my needle. I can't sew now. Any room for a little one? That head looks chewy, Wilfred. I don't believe it's paint. Would be healthy for us, Percival. Under the floor became our own private empire, and soon we made ourselves comfy. It is fortunate that our appearance is so manly, Major Glad. The mice are too afraid of us to attack. You two are lucky. I've had my head bitten off. After a while, no more toys came to join us. Little William and Amelia had vanished and in their place were grown-ups. Hi there, we're bored. We'd like to come back up now. When I grow up, I want to be a train driver just like you, Uncle William. Or I want to invent a flying machine or a very fast horseless carriage. Or perhaps I'll be a, sh a soldier. One day, much later, we heard an old man crying. It was William. Then all was quiet. And if we heard music or children's laughter, it sounded a long way off. What was that? Is anyone there? Have all the children gone away? Yes, all of them. All have gone away to the country. Put that light out. our finest hour. We are heroes now, Major Dizzy, but no one will know of our bravery this night. I don't think I can hold on much longer. Goodbye, my friend. Our ship of the desert is deserting. Hurry, Major, catch hold of our other leg. One day, much later and long after we had ceased to dream of rescue. I know that smell. It's jelly and it's coming from over here. Millie, no, not Mum's key. It's time we fix these splintery old floorboards anyway. Let's have a soft, fluffy carpet. Look at the toys. And this picture is our house in the olden days. You can take these to show your class, Billy. And I'll help you to write a letter to Granny about them. These toys must be even older than her special teddy, Winston. Perhaps they belong to her grandfather, William, who grew up in this house. There's a dark tunnel. I am definitely the most adventurous bus I know. Granny will know who Amelia was too. If only these toys could speak. What stories could they tell us about the past? Can this really be London? Where are the horses? Where are these monstrous contraptions racing past? Major Glad, I hardly dare open my eyes. All oh, the ladies wear pantaloons. Has the world gone mad or have we? No need for panic, Major Dizzy. We'll be Billy and Millie's toys now. What's the worst that can befall us? Millie, no! Do you know you have 
jelly on your hat.